Hey, what's going on, my fellow reefers? March here. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV. I want to talk about Dylan's freaking bomb Fusion 20. Dylan has a sore throat, so he's standing here with me. I don't think he's going to talk though. What up, Dylan? Can I get a wave at least? Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> this is his innovative marine Fusion 20, and it's just doing phenomenal. It's doing really, really well. A um, couple big changes he's made. If you've watched some of the previous episodes we've done on it, this used to be all torches, but he's changed it now to a uh, different direction. He's going with a very nice kind of like a hammer garden, not kind of, a branching euphilia, what, what is it, Latin name? Test. Paragora. Para and Cora. So Dylan is big on, where did that obsession come from with Latin names? It's like in the last month or so, huh? I think off. it's because, you no, yeah, to, to, to show us up because I think Dylan's very competitive at like everything. So he's, he's has this new obsession of trying to know like every single, not just the, not just the regular name, not just hammer coral, but uh, you know, the Latin name, the Euphilia, uh, whatever, whatever. It's actually, it's, okay, what's this over here? We'll do a little sidetrack of the day. What's this? Uh, and Euphilia and Cora. And Cora, yeah, that's the wall variety. Ooh, how about this one over here? Lobophilia. Lobophilia? Mm, no, I don't think so. That's not Lobo. No, 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 that's not Lobo. Aha, uh -huh, no. No, that's a, um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. It's not Lobophilia. It's lobophilia. No, it's not. What's this? Geoffrey. Uh, that's it, yeah. Yo, he's pretty good. That one, you're, that one you're, I think you're off. I think you gotta go back to uh, Coral University on that one. Huh? No, I'm pretty sure you're off. Let's get back to this. That's the sidetrack of the day. I don't know if you guys like the sidetracks, but they're going to keep happening. So bear with me. Yeah, he's changed the approach completely. The torches weren't doing terribly well. Um, what was going on with them? You kind of put them in, they look good. And then after a month or two, what's your theory? Too much flow. Too much flow. Yeah, maybe it could be. It's a small tank and it's hard to keep all these different species happy in one. This is 20 gallons. You know, he's got corals from all over the world in a very, very small portion of water. This is basically what we would call a nano reef, but the hammers are looking great. He's just picked one, uh, basically every single color. We get a new one in, he goes in and grabs one. And the cool thing about these branching hammers is they can touch, they can be like basically next to each other. They're not gonna hurt each other. And, and I'm gonna tell you, I know it's highly debuted, uh, debuted, that's not a word, um, debated, disputed, together debuted online. Hammers, frog spawn and torches can absolutely, in my experience, touch. They're not gonna kill each other, but I see in a lot of forums, people say they can't. I put them next together uh, all the time. Let me see if I have an example here. Where they can't touch is the skeleton. So you don't want the skeletal calcium, calcified structure to touch. But you can see here, directly touching these torches and hammers sweep next to uh, each other all the time. Same with frog spawns. When we get in shipments, I'm confident putting them next to each other and they're not gonna kill one another. So you can do cool sort of LPS gardens like that. Tia's also got a very nice hammer garden going on here at the top of the rock. Um, but we're gonna show Dylan some love today. We'll talk about her tank in another video. Hammer's looking great. He's hiding some very cool green Anacropora, I think in the back, or is that goldenrod? Hard to tell. Goldenrod, goldenrod actually the nicer variety, more yellow. The Acans, wow, bomb. Just, this is Acan heaven. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. They look perfect, puffy. This is what you want to see from an Acan. Just fat and here, chunky here, and meeting. Here, here. Oh, okay, Dylan's sidetrack of the day. It's not Lobophilia. Get out of here. Oh, it's okay. So me, I, I'm, I'm wrong. It's that, it's that at the end. Lobophilia, Lobophilia what? Hamaprici. Hamaprici, ah, Hamaprici. okay. So it's a type of Lobo. You're right, okay. I thought it was like a type of brain. Uh, but I wouldn't. It is a brain. It is okay, but I wouldn't call that lobo. Lobo. Type of lobo. A type of lobo, but I wouldn't call it lobo. I would call it. I would call it like brain coral or something. Like oh. what would you call that as a common name? Oh, question brain of the coral. day. Maybe so, if anyone out there, brain coral. Lobophilia is brain. Coral. Mm, but when I when I think brain coral, I think this. Oh, I guess that's open brain. Yeah, open brain. Open brain and brain. Okay, so it's a type of lobo, which means it's going to be aggressive. That's the second side track of the day. Let's um. Let's keep track. Wow, this is nice. What's this down here? Fabia? Fabia. Incredible. Wow. Did he, was he always that color? No. He I feel like he got nicer. Got nicer at time. Yeah, he got nicer. This is cool over here. Oh, that's where the Mayan princess went. Ah, I was looking for this. Nice. That's, that's a very cool piece too. This. the rainbow dynamite in the back. Oh, when, where did that come from? It's hard to focus. So small. Oh, uh, uh, oh, let's see. Right here in the back. Can I, can I focus it? Yeah, it's tiny. Little rainbow dynamite, that'll be cool to watch it grow out. Yeah, so this side more LPS. Well, the tank in general is LPS, except here on the top of the rock. 
Sorry guys, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, if anyone wants to see, we're running an AI Prime 16 HD on the left, and on the right we're using an Aqua Knight V2. And the reason behind that is because this is an excellent little light at 100 bucks. This is an awesome light at 300 bucks, but you know when we kind of sh show you the tank like this, you would be hard pressed to tell um, which is which without me showing you which light is the spectrum is like bang on and the corals look great under uh, either light so over on this side yeah the acro is looking pretty good what's this strawberry shortcake uh, firework firecracker oh he's really just like completely encrusted huh yep. yeah he's not really shooting up he's got some green goddess in the back and then what are you doing with this frag rack this ugly frag rack here so was I supposed to go over it, but Tia puts her save me corals up there. Oh, she's taking over your tank? Yeah. Tia, you're messing with Dylan's tank? Just one time. Huh? It's, go it's leaving tomorrow. Out of the, we have this entire store. We have thousands of gallons here, and you decide to put your save me corals on this poor man's back wall? Last time I did it, they got moved and sold, so... Oh, okay, so that's my fault. Okay, there's a, there's a reason. I didn't even notice this fish. What is this, Black Cardinal? Uh, yeah, wow, Noir. Does he have a name? You name your fish? No. This is a Ponape bird's nest, birds of paradise. For flow, it's really just the, um, well, we got the two returns. And then Ciche Voyagers on the back corners. I think flow is a very, probably... Most important. Mo very, very important. Most important and highly underrated, like underappreciated in this tank. A lot of tanks have not enough flow. I don't think we realize, sorry, the camera's a little wonky. I don't think we realize how much flow these things are getting in the ocean. They're getting like battered with flow constantly all the time. So I think it's uh, a lot of, a lot of tanks, not enough flow. Nice little zoa garden down here. Not too much. I'm actually surprised you don't have more zoas and it's kind of cool. Rastas, oxides, king midas, super saiyan, completely mixed together almost into one colony. How's the aptasia problem? I see a few here on the sand bed. Uh, I need more peppermint shrimp today. Yeah, that's a good solution. Micromusa? Two it, types. Oh, no way. Oh, look like one. That's kind of cool. And they're, they're not hurting each other. Oh, and look at this. Micromusa and Aken Lord. Okay. Huh, interesting. That's kind of the thing with coral warfare. You never really know what's going to happen. And we just learn over time with experience um, what would work. So I wouldn't expect that to work, actually. Like, uh, wouldn't you expect them to sting each other? Yeah, I would. I would, yeah. Some other nice Aikens here. The Pokeroo is the wow. Is Akans, yeah, it looks like it. He's beating him up. That's kind of what happens with these smaller tanks with nano reefs just over time. This guy, oh, coral spotlight of the day. This thing's crazy. This is the, give me the name. Astriopora. Astriopora. This is like, I like to think of it if a Cyphastria and a flower pot hybridized and made a love child, it would look something like this. This is a very cool coral. The cameras, I can tell you for sure, for sure, for sure, not picking up the color it's a very vibrant radioactive green and the polyps are incredible it kind of looks like a flower pot huh sort of but with like less tentacles are these alvies or, or gonies uh, two gonies one short tentacle one long and then elder pore. what's going on down here some uh that doesn't want to branch he looks branching cyphastria that's decided only to encrust and then to finish it off some cool what is it stylo or pasillopora i always get confused between the two this guy's not looking so hot. Is he okay? This this one over here? Oh, what are you hiding in the back? Chalice? Vitamin C chalice. Vitamin C, yeah. Oh, and some Astrina starfish. Well, tank overall looking really, really nice. If ever, anyone's looking for the Astropora, I think we only have a few frags left. We had a bunch. They are not going to last long. Every time someone comes in the store to check them out, they're like, they're going quick. I think there's only four left. I'm probably going to keep one to grow out in our little farm system. So jump on that. They're on the site now. I'm not trying to sell you guys stuff. Um, more of just a heads up. And most of our viewers are in the United States and can't purchase these corals anyways. So most of the stuff, just about all of the stuff, actually I'm saying on the channel, is just out of our love um, here for the hobby. And we enjoy making the videos. So I think there's one good thing that sort of came out of COVID. We started the channel. We were bored here in the store, locked up, picked up the camera. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thankful for that. Dylan, thank you very much for the tour of your Beautiful aquarium. I think that's my favorite Aiken that you have in there. You want to name it? Mm. Dylan Dynamite? Boom. I think we just named it. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Uh, Fragbox TV. If you like the content, we are trying to do a video every single day. It is difficult. But when you subscribe, comment, and like, it tells us that we're doing a good job. So hit that subscribe button so that you can get updated when we drop the video. But I guess you don't even have to because we're doing a video every day and then you just know, go to the channel and you're gonna watch some new cool coral related shit. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.